Hey, it's KC. I'm back with video number two around getting our own attention, which is really going to be in large part due to our breath and how we control and monitor and track our breath. So in the last video, we talked about posture. Hopefully you're still seated and feeling pretty good in your posture. Uh, I prefer to do a seated posture on the floor. If you can't tell, I usually sit on a few cushions and prop my spine up a little bit. If you sit naturally in Indian style on the floor on a flat surface, you might feel like you're a little bit in a bucket seat and it might be more likely to arch your spine a little bit. But if you prop your butt up just a little, get it off the floor, maybe like four to five inches, it naturally keeps the spine very straight. So let's talk about breathing and getting our attention. Why do most meditation programs and meditation instructors start by ta you know, taking a look at your breath and breathe in and breathe out? My wife's a natural birth instructor and she talks a lot to her students about focusing on the breath. There's that classic Bill Cosby skit, the Lamas. <laughs> and a lot of yogis do the same, same type of breathing exercises. A little bit different, but very similar. So we're going to talk about the breath right now with the sole intention of getting our own attention. And why is our attention so important? Because all day long, our attention is pulled in myriad different directions across stressful things, some good things, some not good things. And it could just be a little chaotic up in here. It's what I call static. I lovingly call all of the uh, head chatter. Just one word and that's static. What we're trying to do in meditation is clear the static so we could tune into the signals within us. Very powerful concept. So our breath. The easiest way to do this is what I started touching on in video one, which is breathing in the same number of counts and holding for a little bit and then breathing out the same number of counts. So let's practice this with uh, counts of four to get started with. And for now, we're going to breathe all, all of these breathing exercises through the nose, okay? Just like yoga class if you've taken yoga. So, so in, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, exhale, two, three, four. So let's do three sets of those. You might already start, uh, you might start noticing already that your body's feeling a little bit more comfortable, a little bit more relaxed. You're probably getting a lot more oxygen into the blood than you give yourself on a daily basis, just being stressed at your desk when your uh, breathing is all shower, uh, I'm sorry, shallow. You want to make sure you're getting nice, consistent, deep diaphragm breaths in during meditation. It's good for the body, it's good for the mind, and it gives you something to tune into another checkpoint, if you will, to help you transcend all the static and all the environmental issues that you'll inevitably run into. Even in a quiet, beautiful space like I'm in right now, there's always a, there's something buzzing in the air. A fly, a light, a lamp, a dog barking outside, kids running up the stairs, certain things in our environment that are trying to vie for our attention. The breathing is the most simple way to tune into something, a body mechanism, that allows you to remember that you are um, a single entity and you can become one with your breath. That's why all meditation teachers start with breath. Eventually you want to transcend even the breath and move, move beyond the breath, but the breath is our best avenue into getting our own attention. The, um, there's, a, there's a few other things we can do here too, as we're, as we're breathing, I'm going to direct my attention to the checkpoints, to what are my eyes doing? What is my spine doing? What are my hands doing? And what is my breath doing? Notice how I'm adding on different checkpoints here. 
And I'm trying not to give you too many things to think about because trust me, your brain is going to want to do all sorts of thinking for you and you'll be wrestling with it um, here and there. But the breathing is the most simple way to kind of transcend all of that. So that's all I want you to practice right now with your breathing is same number of counts in, hold for the same number of counts, same number of counts out. And when we get started in a seated practice or maybe it's one minute, two minutes, five minutes, 10 minutes, whatever it will be, currently my regimen is about an hour. When I do that hour, I do those breaths, I count to 20 on the way in, hold for 20, exhale for 20. So it's, I'm counting about this fast. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two, three, four, five, two, three, four, hold, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, you know, on and on and on. And that's just basically getting my attention before I'm ready to settle into just even breaths in and out with no hold in between. And the in and out is gonna become the steady rhythm that we're gonna follow in our meditation practice. So that concludes video two. And in video three, we're gonna talk about directing our attention and holding our attention. Thanks.